Hi, remember me? I was the guy who showed you what made me tick. But does a steam locomotive run by itself? Of course not. Let me show you how I run. Remember when I told you there are two people in the cab of the engine? The engineer and the fireman? The fireman shovels coal into the firebox, while the engineer makes sure everything is running right. But what are all those dials and handles and knobs for? Let's take a look. The engineer uses three basic types of controls. The throttle or regulator controls the speed of the train, how fast or slow it goes. The reverser or Johnson bar as it's sometimes called controls the direction of the train forward, neutral, or backward. Then there are the brakes used to stop the train and keep it in one spot. To get the train going the boiler turns water into steam and that steam moves the pistons that move the wheels. I showed you that last time. In the cab the engineer moves the Johnson bar into the forward position. The whistle gives two short blasts to let everybody know the train is about to move. The brakes are released and the throttle is slowly opened up. Hey, we're moving! Actually, there's a lot more to it, but that's basically how it goes. Stopping the train is the same, but in reverse order. The throttle is pulled back and the brakes are slowly applied and we're slowing down. Once the train is stopped, the Johnson bar is placed in the neutral position. And that's all there is to it. This video clip, along with 21 others, is available in our 60-minute DVD, Lots and Lots of Train Songs for Kids. For more information or to order your own copy of the DVD, call our toll-free number, visit our website, or just click on the button below. Thanks for watching.